Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics and we have our coil. We did that in the last article. This is the next video in the series on how to make a Bedini SSG or otherwise known as Simplified Schoolgirl motor which is a pulse motor which is able to restore lead acid batteries. We have so far built the frame and balanced the wheel put on the magnets and wound the coil and now today we're going to cut the wire to stuff into the coil center the core of the coil now this is convenient if you happen to have rusty old wire from I read once that John said rusty wire is fine because it doesn't conduct electricity as well what you want I think this was coated at one time anyway it's black uh, blued or black so rusty old wire or coated or spray painted or enameled or something but it's got to be bailing wire or welding rod the uh, Lincoln R60 is what John Benini recommends and if you have missed out the video go check out the link below and you will see the the first article and video where I told you where to get the parts I happen to have this bailing wire on hand it has to be magnetic alright it has to stick to magnets and that is it has to be soft iron because soft iron does not hold its magnetism very well now I just happen to ha have a vise sitting here that I fastened my pliers into my wire cutters okay and just happened to be that with a block of wood sitting up against my cabinet here it is the perfect size I mean you couldn't ask for better that perfect absolute perfect size of my coil center uh, the, the length of my coil look at that that is so incredible so I have a cutting jig to cut my wire so I'm gonna set up the camera and see if I can show you without getting in the way of the camera view okay guys this is the best I can get my camera set up without being in your way so what I want to do here is straighten this out as good as I can and I want to slide it into my jig press it up against the, the form here and cut now let's bring my coil over and make sure it's the right size it should be just perfect to fit inside that coil look at that now we're just going to keep on going straightening out the wire as we go the biggest thing with using old bailing wire is you have to straighten it out a lot as you go that's a big deal put it up cut it really good drop that in now having a cutting jig like this makes it so convenient because every single wire is going to be the same every time So I'm just going to keep on going. This is going to take some time to cut enough wires to fill that spool. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this until I've got enough and then we'll be back in a while. Well guys, much time has passed and I'm still cutting wire. I straighten out a whole mess of it in a row and then I go ahead and cut it and then I jam it in the coil I'm getting there I don't know if it's been 30 maybe 30 40 minutes you certainly should set aside some time for this once you do it because it's not gonna happen all at once and then I cut a bunch and then I jam them in there into the middle I'm getting there couple more passes and then I shake it a little bit to settle them now when I'm done you gotta tap them in but we'll get to that in a few minutes so I gotta keep on cutting okay I'm getting there guys now I gotta wiggle them in now you want to stuff this in pretty tight want there to be no 
air gaps in there. You want these wires in there really tight. You really want to tap them in. You don't want to break your coil though, so don't be too uh, too forceful on that. Getting there. Oh, there's a loose one. Yep, you don't want any wires coming loose on your magnet later. So I'm going to cut another few more, but you can see we're getting there. We're getting down to it. Now you don't want to damage your coil, so be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to overdo it. Gently tap them in there. You don't want to make it too tight either that you hurt your coil and break it inside. But some of these, sometimes I can feel it's sort of loose still. You find a little gap and it goes right on in. I figure I'll get this last one in and we'll be done. You don't want this so tight or so loose that the uh, wire can come off and hit the magnet passing by. That could damage your motor. Now I'm just going to get these flush on one side. Try to tap them all even. You might have to get a small hammer or something to do this. You want them all flush. Now they're sticking out a tiny, tiny bit on one side, so um, I'm not sure if uh, I'll probably just drill a small hole in the board that this is going to sit on uh, to recess that. Now the next step, now that we're done with that, is I find my super glue. I'll be back in a minute. Now you want to put super glue down in here to secure the metal you don't want these ever coming out I'm just putting a generous portion in there since this little container of super glue is garbage after you've opened it it'll dry out and hit the other side that'll absorb down inside and ensure that these wires never try to come out on you in the future you don't want them to hit those magnets Again, one tube is going to go bad on you as soon as you uh, have opened it. So, might as well use it up. We got it open. There you go, guys. That's the preparation of the coil. The coil is done and is ready to go onto the Bedini motor. So, this is a Bedini Simplified Schoolgirl Radiant Energy device, which has the ability to restore lead acid batteries and potentially power your house, but that is a huge, huge expansion for the future. Let's just start with the basics tonight. Thank you for watching, guys. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't seen the per first articles, do check them out. I'll put the links in the uh, article itself. So check out the article in the video description and in the comments. Thanks for watching.